Hello, Farmer Jason here at Wayfruit Farm in our downtown store. And right now we're working on shelving units. And I have a lot of people come up to us and go, Ooh, where'd you buy your shelves? Stuff like these, especially my wrought iron shelves. And I go, uh, at a hardware store. Well, which one? I was like, it doesn't matter. And they're like, what do you mean? We actually make all of the shelves. We do, we design and make them. So I'm gonna take you, we're gonna show a little bit of every part of it. We're gonna do it quick. And if you have any real questions, you can always follow up with us and we can give you more detail. All right, so we're gonna move into our office in the downtown store, which um, I mentioned most people didn't even know we had an office. And it's back in here. And this is what we're trying to make. This is where we're getting to. And what we've done is I take a bunch of black iron pipes and so these are just, these are for natural gas. And what I have is a combination of 12 inch. These ones and this bottom ones are 12 inch. These are all 10 inch going up. And that gives me my height between the shelves. This gives me my shelf space. And then the way this stuff works, I'm gonna show you is I just have T's, elbows, and then this is called a union. And the reason I need that is we're gonna create one whole half, stick it together, and then union it together the other half because otherwise I can't turn them. Everything has to go to the right, so the only way to make it all like this where it's a full frame is to put a union in. So, and again, I'm not gonna show all of that today um, if you have questions on that, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how we put it together. So I start with the feet, and what you do is you just crank them on really tight, and then the next thing I need is an elbow. And what I do is I put that elbow on, and everything just screws on. And then what I like to do, it's kind of a little bit of a cheating methodology, but because of how I did this, I'm able to do it. I get another 12 inch pipe. And I like the ones that come in the wrappers um, just because I've gotten other ones and they take the UPCs to them. And it's amazing how much time it can take to pull off the UPCs. So what I do is I put that in take my plumbing wrench which is made just for these kind of pipes they're kind of annoying to use they always seem to need to adjust them but they fit on there because of the way the the jaws are angled they clamp down on them so what I do is I take them and you use that to get it nice and tight and then what I do to tighten this down is I use this to hold the pipe. If I can do this, I'm having trouble trying to hurry for the camera, so sorry. And then what we can do is work those against each other to where it's nice and tight. And then what I do is I grab a union, which of course I can't find now. And what the union is, is it's how you join pipes they can only be threaded one way. So see this goes into that and tightens up. And so then what I do is I put a union on this side. And I use my other wrench to tighten it down. As I said, these wrenches are very useful, but annoying to adjust. And there we go, that's tight. So these were my 12 inch pipes. That's gonna be one side of it. Now what I do is I start climbing up. I put a 10 inch pipe on, and now it really just starts becoming repeat, repeat, repeat. Or I put a 10 inch pipe on, Hold back against that pipe, grab my other wrench, tighten it down. How you doing? All right, so what it is, is I just keep repeating, repeating, repeating until I have a whole side made. And then what we'll do is we'll pause here. I'm gonna pause here once I get this on if I can get it on in front of the camera. 
And sometimes they're tricky. I'm not gonna lie. These things can be a little bit on the frustrating side. You've gotta get them just square for them to go on right. And again, now what I'm gonna do is put my pipe on here, use that to crank it down. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pause here and uh, I'm gonna finish working this up. So with this one, I needed help because I can't do it all by myself. So I had Eddie, the downtown store manager, come down to help me. And after doing this, Eddie, I thought maybe I should be plumber Jason instead of farmer yes, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm explaining how to do plumbing now. I don't know, Mr. Ed. All right. So what we have to do is these are the unions. And what we're doing is we're joining these two pipes. Because, see, everything has to thread to the right. And so when I did that, if you watched, everything threaded to the right, you have to tighten each one at the time or else it's impossible to get back together. So now what we're doing is we're literally joining them. And at this point we have to get everything straight and square. Apparently I wasn't square on some of these. Because apparently I'm not plumber, Jason. I guess, I'm play, I guess I play a better farmer than I do a plumber. I just got that troublemaker in between, Eddie. That one is not there. Yeah. See, not everything goes according to plan. You know the problem was? I don't have my hammer with me. <laughs> so I'll say, when in doubt, just bang on it? When in doubt, just bang on it is right. <laughs> I won't get this tight here, hopefully. And then what will actually happen is as we tighten these, it'll actually pull it square. There we go. Whenever I did the other ones, it worked better, but you know, it's how life goes. And then what you'll notice, now same thing, is we'll tighten these up. I adjusted my wrench up, and whenever I tighten these, it'll actually help pull everything square. See, Eddie, what happened was I, I made the joke about being a plumber, and then I couldn't make it work, so that's how life goes, right? And there, I'm just gonna do that with all four and it's gonna work out perfectly. All right, so what we're doing here in this part of it is we're getting the shelves ready before we go into town because we need to sand them all, cut them all to length. And so you can see I have a huge pile here and we're doing this. So I'm gonna then, we're, we've been in town, we're coming back out here, we're getting these ready, then we're gonna go back into town with all of these. So I just wanna show you how we cut them to length. And so what we do is we take it Square it up and go to my saw. And that's how we get everything cut to length and sanded so that when we get into town, it's much easier to do. All right, so this is our frame inside here. And what I've already done is attached a couple boards to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the second layer. But because of those unions, my boards are actually just a little bit too wide for it. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a notch to go around that union because otherwise the board might be flat. So I'm just taking my reciprocating saw and going up there a little bit. Then my handy dandy chisel, right to the height I went to. We're just going to knock that out. All right, Eddie, you want to go on the far side? All the way down the far side. And that way, that'll sit flat on that union. And you'll see what I need in a second here. So we're going to slide the board back over and in. Right there. We're going to line it up with the other one. Yeah, right there. Perfect. So I'm right at five inches. Perfect, perfect. And then what I'm doing with each board 
is I'm attaching it down with a clamp. And so I have the clamps and I have my screws. We're getting up underneath here. Put a clamp on. Eddie, you want to hold down on that for me? Thank you, Eddie. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the clamp on. And that's what we're going to keep doing. Board after board after board. And that's how we end up with shelves. And then the fun part, Eddie, is we get to fill this up. What do we think we're going to put on this one? We're going to buy a lot of new candy, a lot of good things to put over there. I think so, too. Yeah. So, All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you all here or at the farm. It's always fun to do these videos. And hope you learned something. If you have any more detailed questions, we can answer them. Uh, but I didn't want to go too, too much further in depth than that. Well, it's always good having you guys tune in. And we'll see you later. So what we did with this is I found out that it was a little bit, with just the three things standing apart, I felt that we needed to time together a little bit better. So what we ended up having to do is actually put another bracket here in the middle where I offset a pipe, and then I just still bracketed it at the wall to make sure that it was good. So I find a lot of times in these things, everybody goes, oh, everything was perfect first. I'm making this up as I go. It was a hand scribbled drawing that I started with. So. As it went on, I just didn't think it was sturdy enough, especially with these one-inch boards. I'm going to take you down and show you the other one. And on that one, I didn't do this because with with the two inch, with the two by well, they're like two by twelve by fourteens, they were sturdy enough. But with these one-inch boards that are three quarters an inch width, look with, it was just a little bit more wobbly. So we added this and screwed it to the wall. All right, so this is the other one all done. It's already started growing candy. Uh, which is what its ultimate purpose is going to be for. But you can see in here I added some bracing. And what it does is it just shored up everything. I cut down through. I made little notches where it just it just shored everything up. And that's how we kept this one stable. It's solid as a rock also. So uh, those are kind of the additions I made to my original scratch drawing of just those on a piece of paper. All right, well, thank you for watching these things. And as always, we're glad to have you as, as customers.